Welcome into the latest edition of Extra Time. You can see Gab dancing. Oh, look at this oh. in person. In, yes. There has been um, some jokes made about my size of late. Okay. And put me next to Gab doesn't really help. No. <laughs> no. I've just no. seen it. Uh, well, I'll hear very much, does it? Um, I was watching the show a couple of days ago and you released the biggest yawn when it was on camera. So hopefully that won't happen today. You should be on time because it's not midnight. And... You're not, you're, I'm sorry, but you know, you are burning the midnight oil over there. I don't yes. know. You guys are sneaky when the little camera comes on. There's no light to tell you're on camera. Oh, I see. So you didn't no, know whether you're always coming. It's a basic human function. Yawning is not just contagious. Yes. And even just be talking about it suggests that I expect Dawn to yawn oh, by the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 mind game. Got jet lag mind as well. Game. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Got mind no, but game. At least, you're, at least you're here, happy. Yes. One member of this panel was trying to get out of today. What? Who would that be? No, no Ali. No. Dawn, I heard me. on the great find you didn't early. want to come on. I was tired. <laughs> <laughs> I was tired. Up at six o'clock. What have you done today? On a plane. Sat on a plane. Yeah, watched a few movies. Well, that's not particularly tiring, Got is it? Got tired. Got tired. <laughs> <laughs> I never had a shower and I was... And then you're ready to go. I'm ready Beautiful. to go. Beautiful. I had to pick you up. You did. Dan's taxis. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. There we and are. Dan's car. He's it's cleaned awful. it up. It's awful. What? It's awful. Still? It's a mess. Where's the kids? The kids make a mess, mess in it, don't they? You've got a Hoover? Fun? Got a I've Hoover? got time for Hoovering. I'm a very busy man. <laughs> ah. I had to fix my air conditioning today. That was a faff. <laughs> For Gab and Don. And cheap, cheap, I imagine. What are you? <laughs> Still, there we are. For Gab and Don, favorite and least favorite thing when visiting the States? Oh, that's a good question for you, given the time that you spent here. Gab went to college in the States, by the way. Uh, yes, and grad school too. So yes, my and grad school. <laughs> <laughs> my my favorite thing specifically about visiting Bristol, after seeing you, there's yes. a lot of very good seafood. Yes. Uh, yeah around here. I mean, you have probably, we have like seafood in Europe, but like y'all like make enormous lobsters coming from Maine and yep. stuff like that. And so I, I like to dig into that. And what about the least favorite thing? My least favorite is just the traffic. I, I can't, I, I just don't like that. I, I don't like sitting in a car right. for a long, long time, especially when I have to do the driving myself. Okay, but aren't you staying in the hotel, which is literally two minutes away from here? Yes, but there's a lot of cars in the parking lot. I <laughs> said, my glow point, when I go to the show at home, it's in my house. I walk down find one the flight of stairs and it's there. Pajama, you know. Pajamas on the bottom? Absolutely, yeah. I can't do the, the show top. in shorts. No, no, nothing, no, 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 like, no, no, nothing. No, no, nothing, just, just enjoying that's, the summer. That's quite a sight. What about you, Don? Favorite is food, without right. anything else. Yes. And least favorite will be tomorrow when I rent a car to try and drive into ESPN for the first time in 20 years, I'll be driving in America. Oh, so you're ne quite nervous about that? I am. Why? Well, what, what's the problem? Well, because it's on the side of the road, Dan. All right, okay. start. Yeah. And the taxi driver told me today you can turn right on a red light. Yes, you can. Or yes. left, whatever it is. No, don't turn left on no, a red don't light. Turn left. <laughs> you can turn right at a red light. It yes. Makes no sense whatsoever. Well, it makes, it, it makes all the sense why is it in the red? world. Well, because it's stopping the people going forward. This is what I've got to learn. I've got to learn it overnight. Uh, if there's a sign saying no turn on red, you're sitting there, yeah. you're not going He told anywhere. me to go straight on. By the way, don't overtake a school bus when it's I'm stopped. not overtaking no one. No, well, well, no I'm going to go <laughs> slow. Oh, yeah, I'm going to on the, on the I'm gonna be getting bibbed tomorrow. It's going to be on the right-hand lane the whole yeah. time. I am. <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm okay. So slow. But it's auto can you drive an automatic? Yeah. All right. All I have drive. Oh, of course. Makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> For all, which of the Premier League relegated teams have a better chance of returning to the top flight the following season? Who got relegated? Quickly, Don, go. Uh, Leicester. Yes. Uh, Southampton. Who? Leeds, Southampton. Leeds, uh, Leicester. Leeds, Leeds. 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 I've been on holiday, can't even remember. No, that's memory. Yeah, go on holiday, you can't remember who got relegated. <laughs> <laughs> Everything gets erased. Leeds ain't coming back. <laughs> no, they got bought by the 49ers today, didn't they? Leicester, I don't think are coming back, losing all their players. Oh dear. Uh, sounds like Southampton. I don't think, I don't even sound. I know, but anything you'd like to add to that? I, I, I would agree with that. So, I mean, I think there's actually, I'm more bullish on, on Leeds' oh, yeah. ability to come back. But I, I, would, being, I, would go with, I would go with Southampton. Lee Daniel Farker? Daniel Farker, yeah. Oh, yeah? He's already been promoted with Norwich, so, you know. There we are. Beautiful. But, uh, pass you by that one. Yes. yes, it did. No. Yes, completely. <laughs> <laughs> Unashamedly. <laughs> I think I'll survive. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo said the Saudi league is better than MLS. What do you think, Ali? I think I'll be honest with you, Cristiano. 
I know nothing about the Saudi League. I have watched zero minutes of the Saudi League, so I cannot give you an informed opinion on the Saudi League. I can tell you, though, that MLS is a league with a very good structure, logistics, uh, you have beautiful stadiums, and in the in specific markets, it's ideal to play in those markets and the sort of atmosphere that is created in the stadium. Criticism of MLS is perhaps some would suggest the level of play, others would argue the fact that it doesn't attract enough attention through the television, if you will, but there is a lot of competition in this country for uh, sporting fans and their interests. And so MLS continues to grow, continues to get better. And I can only tell you from my own experience, I made it to MLS about 20 years too early. Oh, I was early to the party. Oh, right now would, would be. Would you still be invited time. to the party now, 20 years on? I'm invited to every party, Dan. It's whether I go to the party. That's different. <laughs> would you have gone to the Saudi League <laughs> for the uh, sort of money <laughs> that they're putting out there? Are you kidding me, man? I can be in that league as long as they want me to be. <laughs> for Gab. Oh, this is going to ruin extra time. Where is the Premier League in regards to the punishment of City for breaching FFP? Will there be an answer before the start of the new season? I'll try to make it brief. Um, so it's the Premier League's financial sustainability rules. Uh, Manchester City have 115 charges. Uh, in England, they decide never to leak anything, never to talk about it once the proceedings are underway. So they've appointed a three-person panel. Um, and that's where they are. And they're saying, well, we'll just tell you when you need to, we'll just tell you when, when we come up with, uh, with our judgment. It's, it's a very less, trans certainly less transparent than the court of arbitration for sport where right. everything's out there. But uh, the answer is, we don't know. People have estimated, I speak to legal experts, some say six months, some said two years. Um, nobody knows. Don, would you like to add anything? No, no, okay. no idea. <laughs> Ali, rank these four players at their very best. Antoine Griezmann, uh -huh. Neymar, uh -huh. Salah, yeah. Hazard. Ooh. Okay, their very best. Neymar, mm -hmm. and then everybody else really, but Neymar, uh, Griezmann, Salah, Hazard. Really? Ooh. You have Griezmann second? I do, his very best is really, really good. Oh, yes, but Salah and Hazard's really good as well. I know, but it, I'm talking about a World Cup winner. I'm talking about potentially in the World Cup, outside of the outstanding individual performances from Kylian Mbappe. Throughout the course of the tournament, their most consistent player was indeed Antoine Griezmann. I think there is a genius to his game that sometimes gets appreciated. And an, another thing about Antoine Griezmann that I really appreciate is the fact that he does the work defensively. Mm. He sacrifices for his team, whereas those other guys, not quite. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't think there's much in it. I think Eden Hazard, when there were times when he was carrying Chelsea on his back, and you got to, you know, if you've only come to the game now, you've only seen the last couple of years or not seen the last couple of years of him at Real Madrid, you're like, what? But <laughs> he was. <laughs> I think it's a bit of a louder yeah. and higher one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> he took on uh, so much responsibility, he could do so many things. Mm. Um, and I think you're a little harsh also on saying that, that Salah doesn't mm. work. I mean, maybe he wasn't asked to play midfield like Griezmann was, but. But in a Klopp system, Salah puts in the work now. Yeah, Ali hates Liverpool. Uh, is that what? Is that, is that what it is? <laughs> deep roots. Deep roots. Well, do we agree that it's Neymar and then everybody else? Yes. Uh, Don? 100%. What's your order? Neymar, Salah, Hazard, Griezmann. Ooh, Ooh there you go. All right, focus Ooh. on this question. Uh -huh. In a five-a-side game between Gab, Dan, Sid, Jules and Seb, in their athletic prime, against Don, Ali, Stevie, Craig, and Shaka at their current fitness level, who would win and who would be the MVP for each team? Okay, so St Craig can't kick a ball anymore. Mm. Stevie oh. can't run anymore. Me and Ali are carrying this team by the of it. Uh, yeah. Shaka will be in goal. Yeah. Shaka's in goal, <laughs> and once he's down, he struggles to get back up. Right, but who's in goal for you guys? Yeah, but when, when, when was your peak fitness? Well, your team. St. Michael's under 12s. <laughs> Gab, Gab, when was your peak I mean, fitness? Well, what difference I, does that make? I played college it rugby. Makes, it makes all the difference. Why? 
Because Gab might say last year was his peak fitness and we know we've got a chance. <laughs> <laughs> so, is it Sid, Jules, Seb, who all tell you they would have played... Jules, Jules well, would be handy. Yeah, well, I, I think would be a lot of Jules and Seb shouting instructions at everybody. Um, Sid was decent, he tells me, till he broke his leg. Okay. Well, yeah. I didn't see Sid before. Yeah. He's, but Sid, well, like, that's really, very dismissive. He's, he's lightweight. Very dismissive. Sid's lightweight. <laughs> eh? Sid's lightweight. Yeah, but Sid will run. Yeah, but he's lightweight. He'll just run Not on one all leg. day. Don't have a go at Sid. He's one of my friends. Is he? Son. Yes. <laughs> my special friend. I like him. Special right. I think we'll. I, I think we'll win it. I don't know if you would actually. I'm not sure you would. But I mean, we can we can have We've Stevie got the and Craig just standing and. They're good enough still where you can give them the ball and they'll... Craig would leave after two minutes. Yeah. Craig wouldn't even get on the pitch. <laughs> Craig would just walk oh, it's a waste of time. We are assuming that God. Craig shows up with a positive attitude. <laughs> I know. That's it's the a big assumption. Time. He's got a red card written all over him. Yeah, on, it, that game. Yeah, on Seb. Yeah. <laughs> all day long. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be yeah. Seb. No, Seb. Seb is annoying. So we're down to, what, four men? I don't even know you got four. I think, got... I think Shaka can make a save or Three, two. Three? Really? I think Shaka can make a save or two. I don't know, mate. Stevie, yeah, but... Stevie's not going to be a help, is he? <laughs> is he? You think he's going to yeah. be a hindrance? <laughs> <laughs> How's he going to help us? I'll tell manager, you what, though, manager. you say that, but Stevie remains ridiculously competitive. And as you know well, a few years ago, I mean, if I just ask you, in a rowing race, <laughs> who would your money be on? Yeah. Would it be on Stevie? There is yeah. a caveat to this. <laughs> or would it be on Stuart Robson, who lives on the Earth? Robbo. Right. Robbo, right? Yeah. right? But, but what if one person Say you had a slender Cornishman in the boat with Stevie. Yeah, right. And maybe an Italian who enjoys seafood oh, I've seen this. in the other. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I still would have thought, I still would have thought, Robbo, I was so sure we were going to win. I said, how could he possibly do this? Robbo was quite ill that trip, wasn't he, as well? That was his excuse. Yeah, he, he sort of became all ill afterwards. <laughs> but no, like, like. So it's not that he was carrying you then. Is that I, I, look, <laughs> ultimately, but still, yeah, obviously there's a handicap there, right? <laughs> but equally, this is Robbo against yeah. Stevie, yeah. Yeah. right? It's Robbo yeah. yeah. against Stevie. But I was a very good cox. Yes. <laughs> Can I, speaking of Robbo, I'll give you Craig, because he's not going to show up. Can you well, give us Robbo right yeah, now? Yeah, but Robbo's hips are done. He'll tell you, he can't run. But at least he'll bring out it. Robert could just row. What's he going to do? <laughs> <laughs> he might <laughs> run his way up the field, baby. He might just get Craig on a good day. What? We I've known Craig 13 get... years and I've yeah, yet to find that day. Once he sees Sebi in, like, the other colours. <laughs> that mean, he's Unless eyes, you put a red, golf flag in the, the middle red, of the pitch. The red <laughs> mist is going to come down and when he sees Sebi, we might have Craig for 10 <laughs> minutes of the Listen, game. Listen, I, I can <laughs> tell you this. Seb is annoying enough that he'll... He'll bring something out of Stevie. Right. Stevie may die in the process, okay. but he's going to bring something. Player manager, okay. Stevie. Did, I, did you say Robbo's on tomorrow? Oh, there mm. you go. And uh, Don, you're here. I, I'm, 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 and you're in. in I'm, yes. I'm competitive. Wow. I'm competitive. I'm saying we can win it. I think we oh, we got this. I, you don't. We, <laughs> I'm never going to sit on this show this. and say <laughs> we lose that. I think you're no, losing no, it. We got this. I, I, got this. I, I tell you yeah. what. There'd be how many people in hospital at the end of that game? Oh, well, so many. Uh... <laughs> heart attacks. But, but all on your team, because we're all at our athletic. Yeah, we're oh, at right? you know, But honestly, you're athletic. Sid's got a broken Sid, leg. Come on. Athletic uh, beat. Seb's got a broken Sid. leg. Well, before before he broke his leg. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, but I'd do him. I'd do Sid. Well, how many people are you doing? No, I'm doing. I'll do Sid. Yeah. Craig will do seven. Yeah. Right, so you guys, so you who could actually run a little bit, you get sent off. No, we just won't. Just alley goal hanging. We won't, we and won't. Then... <laughs> we'd be clever. We'll get a yellow and we'll do a little bit of damage yeah. to those two. Take and some talking, a lot of talking. A lot of talking. A lot of talking. Okay, and that's just going to wind up Sebi and Jules to talk a lot more. Uh, yeah, yeah. To, to, no, to <laughs> themselves. Wow. Oh, we're winning this. All day long. Wow. Well, thank you for the question. There we are. <laughs> Best question ever. <laughs> All right, Don. <laughs> uh, Don's here, Gab's here, Robbo's here tomorrow. What a treat for everyone. Seb as well. Uh, be sure to join. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.